understood uh, how much work, how much effort, uh, and to be, you have to be on your toes all the time around him. Absolutely. Yeah. It's great to see you, man. You too, yeah. I was talking to John a little earlier about the greatest all-time Murray State players, and he had you, he yeah he had you on his list, but wanted you to play power forward. Is that okay with you? That's fine because you know I am a power forward. I agree with Dick Cunningham being the center. All those rebounds he grabbed in his career. Uh, so yeah, I'll take power forward. You know, honestly, I'll just take men on that list. Period, because it, because it's a very distinguished list. I know. I hope you got Jeff Martin on that list. Uh, yes. Yes, that you know was one of Two my guard. big mentors. Yeah, yeah. Jeff Jeff uh, Martin, man, the way he could score the ball. I wish I could score like that, but I never could. <laughs> I know that Murray State has played an important role in your life. Talk just a little bit about how you know you're still connected to the city and uh, the program. Well, first of all, I don't get back enough. I wish I could get back more, but uh, uh, remarried. And people say you're crazy, but I have a three-year-old, so so that takes a lot of my time. And then, then obviously the season, but uh, trying to really, really reconnect with him in the off season really takes a lot of my time. Uh, but it's it's always good to get back. It's always good to see old faces and reminisce. It's it's family, man. You know, anytime I uh, write a tweet or write something on social media, I always like to end it with you know Racer Nation or Racer Family because it is. It's one big family, and uh, you know we're all. It seems like we always. Uh, always pulled the same direction here uh, this racer family and I'm just happy to be a part of it and happy to come back when I can make it I'm good yeah. okay yeah. well um, talk a little bit about Hoopalooza yeah, well, you know, first of all, I have to give the props to Coach, you know, Coach Prone, who uh, who started this, you know, and, uh, and just trying to get guys now to, you know, let's keep coming back and seeing each other because of it. our lives go different directions and we're so busy, we don't get to see each other all the time. So this is always a good weekend to catch up with our teammates again, which is family to me and, and not only teammates, but coaches uh, to see these guys and to see how, you know, we, not only have we uh, grown as people, but I guess grown as human beings as well, but we're still connected. I think anytime uh, myself, you know, I was always loving it. I love to play team sports. So it was basketball, football, and baseball. And I told my older kids, you know, when they were kids, you want to play a team sport, team sport, it's like you're a family member. You got to be unselfish. And, and uh, so I played a lot of guys who were unselfish, who, who were very competitive, who wanted to win. And I love to be a part of it. You've uh, had great success as a coach in the NBA. Mm -hmm. Um, the excitement that that brings, how would you compare it to the excitement that you had as a player? It's funny. It's funny because, you know, you, you, I think all players come to a crossroad uh, because, you know, we always say we're going to retire, but it's not like we retire. We just can't play anymore. And so at that point, I wanted, you know, it's like, okay, what am I going to do? Do I want to go to the front office route or do I want to go coaching route? And I wanted to go coaching route because I still had my hands in it, I felt. I was still on the sidelines. I was still kind of a part of it more than just being a scout or a front office guy. And, you know, obviously nothing brings you more excitement than playing, but second to that, coaching uh, brings a lot of excitement. I think. And, you know, I always didn't know how it would feel to win a championship as, as a coach. I knew as a player I would be like, yeah. You know, I helped do, but I had the same. I, I, I feel like I had that same feeling as a coach winning it this year. That I was a part of it. That I really, really worked really hard, and I've come a long way. You know, 28 years of playing and coaching in the NBA to be able to put that ring on my finger. Anything you'd like to say to the fans here? And, uh, keep supporting the racers. You know, I know uh, this year, what this last year wasn't great, but I think we all have confidence in Coach Cone that we'll get the, get the racer, fan, racer uh, nation going again in the Missouri Valley Conference, and we'll be at the top. Thank you. Yeah.